All right, I have stitched my pocket linings to the front middle, just right around that curve there. They're all stitched on. Now we're going to clip into that curve, and this just helps the pocket lie nicer. Just, you know, every inch or so, just before the stitching starts. Now we're going to flip these pocket linings, see what we've got so far, kind of like wings. We're going to flip these pocket linings to the back side and iron that seam that we just made. I'm doing this on an upcycle t-shirt, so I'm being sure to iron from the back, otherwise my graphic on the front will melt. And that would not be good. The more you iron, the better your seams will be. I mean, you just can't skimp on ironing. It makes everything easier. My husband would laugh at that because I will, I refuse to iron his dress shirts. <laughs> are right now. Our pocket linings are in the back, just ironed back. So we have a nice ironed seam there. Okay. Now we're going to lay our front out again and just flip the pockets back out straight. Okay. Now we are going to take our the front side sleeve pieces. And we're going to, this is the tricky part. It's not tricky once you get it, but I can see why people would think it was tricky. We're going to place these right sides together along the, from the shoulder of the top middle piece along the bottom of the pocket lining. So sometimes it can be tricky to know like which piece goes on which side. So I just lay it out how it would look if it were all done. So I know that this piece goes on this side. So I start by pinning the top shoulder piece to the sleeve piece, that top corner, because I know that's where I'm going for sure, that's easy. Then I'm going to take the middle, the, not the middle, sorry, the pocket lining, now along with the sleeve piece, these curves are exactly the same, they're going to get pinned, matched up, sewn. So we're going to pin the bottom of the sleeve piece to the bottom of the pocket lining. And it looks a little weird, but it works. It will work. So I pin those corners, that bottom sleeve corner, to the bottom corner of the pocket lining. I know where I'm going. So I've got those two pieces pinned. Now we're just going to follow this curve along and pin every so often. These curves match up perfectly, so you should not have any extra fabric anywhere. Now when you get to this, um, this little overlap piece where the, the point of the pocket lining, you're just going to pin right over it because your, your seam allowance will eat that up, so you won't have to worry about that at all. So I have pinned all along the sleeve side piece to the middle piece going along the bottom of the pocket. So now I'm just going to take this over to my serger and I'm just going to do just a regular stitch with a 3 8 seam allowance right around where I pinned, right here. <laughs> 